Las mujeres trans mayores de 50 años son un legado para nuestro movimiento. Muchas de, de las mujeres trans a las que admiro y respeto ya no están aquí y quiero homenajearlas y quiero honrarlas y quiero decirles gracias por existir y espero tener la oportunidad de llegar a los 50 años también. Today we are celebrating our Trans Mother's Day. Tonight, we're going to crown a Miss Trans Elite that has left a legacy for all of us trans women over 40. Yes, baby, that means that we're old bitches, <laughs> but we're still here. It is a celebration of all the trans women in our community that have made it to 50 years and older. Having fun events is just a lot more important than people realize. A lot of times in the trans community, we forget that we, we can be happy. Soy Ana Andrea Molina, yo soy la directora y la fundadora de la Organización Latina de Trans en Texas. Y OLTT es un centro de, de recursos para personas que como yo emigraron a este país sin ningún tipo de oportunidades y hoy por hoy luchamos contra sistemas que nos oprimen y, y buscamos una mejor calidad de vida en comunidad y en fraternidad, en familia y en poder. Ladies and gentlemen, she is Miss Trans OLP Elite Houston. The reigning queen will be stepping down and the new girls will be stepping in. Ofrecemos la vivienda, ¿verdad?, para aquellas comunidades o poblaciones que se, se, que se encuentran más vulnerables. Y nos centramos mucho en la liberación de la, de la criminalización. I provide immigration legal services to many of OLTT's members. I've also come out as a transgender non-binary person. And with that comes an understanding of what it means to fight for existence, to fight for rights every single day. I don't think that the U.S. has done enough to keep trans people safe. I think that these spaces are so incredibly important because if young people are taught from a young age that they're allowed to take up space, that they're allowed to be who they are, that they're allowed to explore who they are, then we can avoid so much violence, which means we can avoid so many other harms. Le voy a pedir que nos acompañe al frente a Mr. Trans OLTT Daron Janes. I came from Cuba as a young age and I really didn't have anybody that could understand me and like I could talk to until I like, got here and I was like with my people and I was like yeah I know I can tell them about this because they don't understand. So que que se oigan los aplausos. Para Jared, aplausos, para Jared, aplausos. Creo que, que es la, la única organización um, trans que tiene un albergue y recibe y protege eh, los derechos de las personas inmigrantes y inmigrantes trans. All Chichi is unique in the way that it serves not only the Hispanic queer community, but also does not shame anyone for being a migrant. You're a person first, you're a queer person first. La comunidad trans latina migrante en la ciudad de Houston y en el estado de Texas éramos invisibles ante los proyectos y los programas de muchas agencias u organizaciones y centros comunitarios locales. No nos tomaban en cuenta, no había servicios para latinos migrantes, todo estaba relacionado en inglés o solamente era para personas blancas. Y entonces iniciamos esta trayectoria de cómo crear un espacio inclusivo y culturalmente reflejado para las personas a las que queremos. Creo que, que ese apoyo social que le da a la comunidad y esa seguridad de estar en un techo que está protegido y que se sientan a salvo es sumamente importante. Your trans identity is always on your mind. But when you're in a space where it's mostly comprised of trans people, you, you forget. You just feel like yourself. Para nuestra amiga Lucia Rodríguez, que hoy es nuestra Miss Trans Elite Dallas. Yes. You forget that you're actually different than a lot of other people. And that's, um, that's just very nice. Yeah. A nuestra amiga Barry Ledesma, nuestra Miss Trans. Oh. 
joy is an important part of our activism. And so I hope that we can get to a place where these spaces aren't just about how do we survive, but more so about how do we thrive. I work with my community personally because it's what saved my life. When I was younger, I did not even know what a trans person was. Had I had the resources, I would have started my transition in my teenage years instead of waiting for my mid-twenties to finally accept who I was. OOTT helped me accept it and express it to the world and find a purpose to really fight for. No hay otra cosa más grande que visibilizar a través de nuestra existencia, de nuestras voces, nuestra presencia, el que estamos aquí, ¿verdad? Vivimos en un estado que, que nos ataca constantemente, pero no nos van a desaparecer, no nos van a invisibilizar. A nosotras y a nosotros nos han discriminado, humillado, pero se les olvidó que somos semilla y que vamos a renacer. Gracias. Thank <laughs> you.